Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Cunningham and I'm a knee and shoulder specialist with Vail Summit Orthopedics in Vail, Colorado and I'm here today to talk about kneecap dislocations and reconstruction surgery of the medial patellofemoral ligament. Kneecap or patellar dislocations are common injuries and I typically see these in young patients participating in cutting and pivoting sports and with these injuries the kneecap dislocates laterally. It slides off the femur and oftentimes will lock in that position and patients have to go to the emergency room to have the kneecap put back in place. In other cases, the kneecap can subluxate or partially dislocate and then it'll pop in on its own. When an athlete dislocates their kneecap and the kneecap comes laterally, they tear a thin ligament called the medial patellofemoral ligament or MPFL, which runs from the patella to the femur. Most patients who dislocate their kneecap for the first time can be treated without surgery. I send them to physical therapy in order to restore the range of motion and reduce their swelling and then increase their strength. However, in patients who repeatedly dislocate their kneecap, then they come to surgery to reconstruct their medial patellofemoral ligament. In patients who've had multiple kneecap dislocations and come to surgery to reconstruct their medial patellofemoral ligament, I recommend that we use a donor tendon to reinforce their torn and stretched out medial patellofemoral ligament rather than simply tightening or trying to advance their thin and stretched out ligament. Here is a case of a young patient who has had recurrent dislocations of their kneecap and presents for medial patellofemoral ligament reconstruction surgery. As you can see, I can fairly easily dislocate their kneecap laterally. It then reduces back in place. This surgery can be done by making a small incision over the medial side of the kneecap and another small incision over the femur. For this case, I utilize a donor hamstring tendon, which incorporates well into the surrounding tissues as there's good blood supply to this area. It's very important to confirm the origin site of the medial patellofemoral ligament on the femur. To do this, I use a live x-ray machine. Here I am identifying the origin site of this ligament on the distal femur. There's been some very elegant anatomic studies showing where this ligament originates on the femur and I'm referencing these studies and placing this pin on the distal femur. A pin is advanced into the femur in exactly the place where the MPFL ligament originates. The pin is then over drilled with a small drill. This creates a socket in the bone. The tendon graft will later be seated in this bone socket. The medial side of the patella is then exposed and the bone is lightly decorticated to create a bleeding surface of bone on exactly the attachment site of the medial patellofemoral ligament on the kneecap. Two small suture anchors are then placed on the medial side of the patella to anchor the graft in place. The graft is then passed and seated into the femoral socket. The two tails of the graft are then seated on the medial side of the patella and sutured in place. It's critical in this case not to over constrain the kneecap the medial patellofemoral ligament acts more as a check rein to simply prevent the kneecap from translating laterally and dislocating. It's not there to hold the kneecap in place. After reconstruction of the medial patellofemoral ligament, patients are placed on a hinged knee brace. They can come out of the brace immediately and begin gentle range of motion exercises, restoring full motion to the knee. I allow patients also to be weight bearing right away after surgery with their crutches. At six weeks from surgery, the brace can be discontinued and strengthening exercises are begun. Most patients are doing very well after the surgery at three to four months from surgery. This is Dr. Richard Cunningham with Vail Summit Orthopedics and I thank you for watching this video on reconstruction of the medial patellofemoral ligament and how I stabilize a dislocating kneecap.